Hello, my name is Slava and I'd like to show you how to set up your keyboard and mouse shortcuts for really fast editing in Adobe Premiere Pro, which means more free time, right? Besides keyboard, mouse shortcuts are a really important thing people overlook very often. It's recommended to use mouse with many customizable buttons, like Logitech MS Master, for example. If you use some other mouse, like Razer or Apple mouse, don't worry as long as you can modify buttons or gestures. Well, I'm going to show you my settings, but of course you can adapt it to your preference. On the keyboard I'm using Jack L buttons for playback and forth, but you can switch to ASD, like some people, if you prefer that way. One thing which is really important to me is not to look at the keyboard at all during editing, which can speed up your work notably. So I set up all my shortcuts around JKL buttons. Edge key is perfect position for bypass all my grades, and which I'm doing very often. Now we go U key, which is my selection tool. O is the razor tool and O is the pen tool. For apply audio crossfade transition, I'm using this word key, but actually it's a comma key on the standard UK or US keyboard. Enable disable clip is one of my most important shortcuts for fast editing, and it's mapped on a dot key. And if you're using many video tracks, one over each other, this one is really useful. Next one is set to frame size. If you've got so many 4K material on a 1080p timeline, you're gonna love it. So like you can see, it's combination of a dot and alt eruption key. When I want to change my clip speed fast, I invoke the menu by alt eruption plus comma key. For nest, I use backslash key. And for export frame, backslash plus alt eruption key. And while my fingers are all the time on the JKL keys, actually it's really practical to use Alt or Option Plus L for the last frame and Alt or Option Plus J for the first frame. And now really important mouse shortcuts which makes my work easier. It's a maximized frame. And if you work with a lot of masks, it's a must have. This shortcut I use very often and it's a ripple delete. An upper button I use for undo. And the last important shortcut is my redo button. Ok guys, if this was helpful or if you have some thoughts, let me know in the comment section below. So please like, comment and subscribe if you like it. Also smash my bell button to be notified every time a new video comes out. Laters.